for Apple and Android users. How do you pick the right cable for your device? The first one is the Lightning to USB-C for iPhone, of course. That's pretty um, explanatory, self-explanatory. And the Spigen Type-C.0 and the Thunderbolt compatible USB 4 Gen 3 are wire. These are a bit tricky. All right, let's test them. Okay, so these things can test, uh, can charge the uh, iPad or the MacBook Pro. And they all feature data transfer. Okay, let's unbox and go through all three cables. So the first one also got the Spigen charger set up here. 20 watts, 70 watts, and 100 watts dual port. And also it, this power strip is connected to this uh, uh, kilowatt meter as usual. Let's do this. This is a tw iPhone 12 and the current charge is 33%. That's a 20 watts charger. And now we can also keep an eye on the uh, power meter there. Okay, yeah, iPhone would not take more than 18 watts. That's correct from this tiny GAN Spigen charger. And for the type C here, we can use it with the iPad Pro. My state, state of charge is pretty low at 40%, by the way. It's a Tango free cable, the unique design here. There's a hollowed um, point to reduce stress. We know that uh, iPhone takes about 18 watts, so I'm gonna unplug it for a sec. I, I believe this thing would take about 30 watts, the iPad Pro 11 inch with M1 chip. It will take a second to go all the way up there as we unbox the Thunderbolt 4 and 3 compatible, 40 gigabytes per second data transfer rate, 2.6 feet USB 4. Yeah, that's almost 30 watts. It is not surprising. Yeah, that's a 70 watts charger. So it is um, joining actually far less than its rated power. Look at this strong USB type 4 cable right here. Again, the same design, very strong. This is one of the highest gauge USB type 4 I've ever used. Okay, I'm gonna connect it to my MacBook Pro. Now let's disconnect the iPad. My iPad, my MacBook Pro won't draw more than 65 watts. So usually it's around, you know, 30 and 40, okay, 44. So the current state of charge is 70 at 75%, 75. I'm gonna do maximum brightness and we're drawing 55 watts. Of course, we can totally use the Type-C USB 2 to charge the MacBook Pro. I think that is also possible. 
And we're also gonna use it, use this cable to connect the MacBook Pro to the um, portable monitor in front of me. Yeah, it does charge. So this is the USB type uh, C to C with the USB 2.0. It, it, it has the same result, basically. All right, so the thickest one is the Thunderbolt 4 and 3 compatible USB Type 4. Okay, let's try using the single cable to power the um, portable monitor in front, of, in front of me. So I'm gonna unplug its power source and just use this one single cable. See if it will power up. And by the way, you can, if you have these portable power banks from Jackery, you can also use this Type-C cable to charge the battery bank from its power delivery port. It has a in and out, so it's a charging cable as well. You can also take a look at the power output there versus the one here. Okay, let's try the um, MacBook Pro with the um, monitor there. It looks like it won't work. So let's try the USB type, USB uh, 4 cable, which is Thunderbolt 4 compatible. Okay, it works. So the USB um, two type C here will not be doubled as a um, you know data transfer from a display port. So the, the thicker USB type um, USB four Gen three has, which is Thunderbolt four and three compatible, will be able to transfer the um, display signal to over to that display. As a, so you can use it as a extended desktop like that. Okay, so I guess that is the difference. For Mac users, the type uh, USB-C 4 and the Thunderbolt 4 compatible, this thicker cable is the one to go. Um, for iPad users or you know Android users, this one is totally sufficient unless you have a laptop if you have if you have only gonna buy one cable this is the one to get and of course for iphone users you always want to use the uh, type c to lightning cable to have the maximum charging power delivered to your phone otherwise if you use the traditional usb type a to type uh, to lightning cable, you will only get like five watts or um, 12 watts max to your iPad. So hopefully that explains the um, differences between these four cables, between these three cables, sorry, lightning, USB type, C to C, USB 2, USB 4 with a Thunderbolt enabled. And by the way, um, the maximum um, power input of the Jackery power bank is limited at 60 watts, I believe. So even if you use a 100 watts charging brick, also from Spigen, all these three chargers are from Spigen with a GN tech it will not be able to, you know, pull that off with, with uh, more than 60 watts input. 51 watts here. That's the total consumption. All right, thank you very much for watching.